Yeah, if y'all know the struggle I go through to record a video, then you'd understand, you know, why it takes so long in posting said videos. Alright, listen up. Today we'll be doing a uh, Megara from Hercules or Meg, if you will, inspired makeup look because a lovely person called Sam G commented on one of my videos asking for me to do it and so that's what I'm gonna do. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing with this look, but hopefully it'll be something good. Let's just see what she looks like. So, Margaret has a purple eyeshadow, like all over eyeshadow, smoky eye. I guess you can say with a wing eyeliner and a dark mauve nude lip. Hi, right, I can do that. I'm doing a voiceover because I can't talk and do my eyeshadow at the same time because multitasking is hard as fuck. So, yeah. First things first, I prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden and then just put that all over my eyes without setting it. Just I just put it on and then I let it do its own thing and then I went in with eyeshadow. The first eyeshadow shade I went in with was Buon Fresco from the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, of course, and blending that all over my crease. Ignore this next step because I just end up covering it with the light purple and darkest purple from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. Be I just put it in because I want you guys to not do this. Like, this is a step you do not do. This is a light and dark purple that I mentioned literally two seconds ago. And this I just put all over my eye and kind of just did back and forth motions really just to cover that mistake that I did with all that purple. I then went back in with the shade Buon Fresco and just soft blend, well, softened those edges and really blended it out and smoked it out to your highest of standards. And then on a different brush, I packed on that dark eyeshadow from the dark purple eyeshadow from the NYX palette and focused on the outer and inner corner. Real quick, I just wanted to say if you guys have any more requests, if you want me to do more princess inspired looks, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will eventually get to them. I promise because I have a lot of time right now because I'm not in school and I'm working nights and I have all day to just, you know, film and edit and have as many videos out as possible for you guys and for myself because this is kind of like my therapy. It's like an escape for me and I really enjoy making these so please you have any requests drop them down in the comments all right back to the videos so right now what i did is i got some foundation and i just got it on a brush a little packing brush and put it on my lid to cut not cut my crease but to cut out where i'm gonna put the halo like where i'm gonna put the brightest eyeshadow if you will yeah so that's what i did and then i took the shade bikini which is like this bright purple you know iridescent kind of shifting metal metallic eyeshadow great description Andrea. great description of an eyeshadow so yeah it's just like that and then i put it all over the center of the lid after i placed the eyeshadow i went in and blended it with the dark purple from the nyx palette on each side and just perfected it in my own way i guess you can say because you know a bitch be fucking crazy with those details and you know really having the crease deep and having the center of the eye pop out speaking of making the center of the eye pop out i went in with the shade um vermeer from the modern renaissance palette and just put that in the very center of my lid with a little tiny pencil brush and then gave myself a winged eyeliner with a tattoo liner from kat von d in the shade trooper black but i didn't show it because i was literally just covering myself with the mirror the whole time so there was no point in showing you that moving on so what i did is i got some foundation i put that underneath my eye to do my lower lash line as like a base you know i put the foundation as a base and then i set it with the cody airspun powder and went in with the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade psychedelic sister and just put that all over my waterline and in my lash line to just really smoke that shit out with the darkest purple shade from the nyx palette and just you know place it on top and then 
smoke that out with the lightest purple from the NYX palette. And then you put on some mascara. I use the big, no, the super sized one from Maybelline. And then just tightline your eye with any black eyeliner pencil. For lashes, I'm using ones by Pretty Lalia 101 in the shade 5032. And these are really going to give me that cat eye feline effect that I'm looking for. And, you know, make me look snatched, if you will, because that's what Meg looks like. Meg is always snatched. I mean, have you seen her fucking... Look at that ponytail, bitch. Back to regular and dry in one, two, three, now. Alright, I'm back. Finished the eyes. So now, before I lose, like, the rest of the daylight, you know... Before I lose any more light. Uh -oh. Ow, there's something in my eye. Okay, so for the face, we're gonna use three different primers because I'm extra. The first primer we're gonna use is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Oh, I thought you were gonna use the Such. part one. No, that Too Faced. Yeah. Too Faced Hangover Primer as like a moisturizer thingy. And just really rub that in. And turn hella red for some reason. We're gonna go in with the infamous Tatcha Silk Canvas primer thing. I spent a lot of money on this. It was $52. Do I like it? It's tight. Would I buy it again? No. But uh, I have to use it because I spent money on it. So we're just gonna take a good dollop on our fingernail and just press it in our faces oh dear lord okay i think i put too much shoot shoot okay whatever oh no give me one moment i don't i don't know why i stopped it it was like unnecessary but i thought i i messed up but yeah this was 52 dollars i wouldn't buy it again but i gotta use it now okay so last primer i'm gonna use is a milk makeup blurring stick primer just for extra Mattification. I don't even know if that's a word, but because I'm dry everywhere except my T zone, like I still get oily, but I just dropped the primer. Like I still get oily, but I'm like dry everywhere else, you know? So maybe my skin's just dehydrated. I don't know, but we're just gonna put that on. Now we're gonna not gonna put on too much foundation because um, I don't wanna put on foundation. For foundation, we're gonna take the Oh, why am I out of breath? Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're going to take the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 310 on a foundation brush and just, you know, get them on the brush and put it on our faces. I'm like really close to the camera, but you won't see me if I scoop back. Sorry, you're just going to have to deal with my ideas. There's a mirror like right there, like right behind the camera. That's why I'm like looking over there. Maybe. I'm taking a blender, beauty, uh, real technique sponge. We're just gonna pat that into the skin. And take our beauty blender and just set our face. That was an unintentional large amount of powder, but maybe Christmas you thought doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas can have things a little bit more. I love! Okay. Guys, I'm trying real hard not to be boring, but it's because like I get bored myself of like makeup tutorials, so sorry if it's boring. I understand. I'm gonna use a Marc Jacob bronzer. In the shade Fantastic, which is also was well, expensive, all right, but it's a really good bronzer. This I don't regret buying, and I would probably buy it again. Not if I was but, pleh, words. If I was completely, pleh, if I was completely honest with you guys, I'd buy this bronzer again, most definitely. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm recording. 
Follow the journal link. It's when you journal, like every day you journal, but. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Okay voiceover andrea back in the building um there was something really loud in the background that you can barely hear what i was saying so i was just what i said was the blush that i used was one by pixie in the shade beach rose and that's pretty much it and then the the highlighter i will be using is one from anastasia one from the anastasia beverly hills sugar glow kit it's gonna be the shade butterscotch which will be this one so but first we're going to spray our face with the pixie skin treats glow rose glow mist so what's that i don't know if i got it <laughs> oh oh Just going like that, going like that, and then putting it on our face. This doesn't have a mirror. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. There's nothing like Anastasia highlighters, to be completely honest. Other cheek. Going back with that blush brush and just really softening that and like making it blend together. Oh my god. I look so bad. You wanted the eyeshadow look, right? There, I did the eyeshadow look. This is all just nonsense. For the lips, we're going to be taking the shade Teddy Bear by, from Milani Cosmetics. No, Milani. Just Milani. It's the shade 29. What lipstick would look good with this eyeshadow? Let me know. Alrighty, that is it for today's video. I'm sorry if it was a mess. The last half of this video was very all over the place. I appreciate those who watched it all the way through. And to Sam, which was the one that requested this video. Here you go. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm sorry if I disappointed you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Finish the heart. Love you guys.